to reintroduce our host, Randy Swanson. Randy. Thank you, Tom, for all that you do for uh, freedom here in America. People don't have any idea how uh, tough it is to get these speakers at these events, and uh, someone like Tom's been doing this for a long time, and uh, he deserves another real heartfelt, warm uh, round of applause because he's be setting him up again in Massachusetts on December 12th at Faneuil Hall. The Oath Keepers is a nonpartisan organization. And our purpose is to remind those that have taken the oath of duty to the Constitution exactly what that oath means. Our oath wasn't to the officer that we report to. It wasn't to a politician and not to a president. The oath we took was to the Constitution of the United States of America. This means that while we will faithfully obey lawful and constitutional orders, we will refuse to obey unlawful or unconstitutional orders. This is our right, it is the law, and it is our duty to protect and defend the Constitution and the Constitution alone. It is the essence of the oath that we all took. We stand for liberty, for preserving the Constitution and defending the Republic, so help us God. Our motto is, not on our watch. Based on these three principles, Oath Keepers has issued a declaration of 10 orders we will not obey. And uh, feel free to let your heart uh, shout out at the opportune times here. We will not obey orders to disarm the American people. No. We will not obey orders to conduct warrantless searches of the American people. No. no. We will not obey orders to detain American citizens as unlawful enemy combatants or subject them to military tribunal. We will no. not obey orders to impose martial law on, or a state of emergency on a state. We will no. not obey orders to invade and subjugate any state that asserts its sovereignty. No. No. We will not obey any order to blockade American cities, thus turning them into giant concentration camps. No. We will not obey any order to force American citizens into any form of detention camps under any pretext. No. no. We will not obey orders to assist or support the use of any foreign troops on U.S. soil. Hell no. Against the American people not to keep the peace or to maintain control. We will not obey any orders to confiscate property of the American people including food and other essential supplies. Hell no. And the 10th order, we will not obey any orders which infringe on the right of the people to free speech and peaceably assemble to petition their government for redress of grievances. Yeah. Yeah. Before I conclude, I'd like to, uh, just like to add that if you're in the military or a member of law enforcement, remember your oath. You may one day find yourselves as a bulwark against tyranny. And if you'd like to join us, we would be honored to count you amongst us. And whether or not you have, were in the service, if you, just, if you want to honor your Constitution by swearing to protect and defend it, then we would welcome you to do so now. Whether you are taking this oath for the very first time or renewing as many of us are here, Please do not take this action lightly. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, I Randy Swanson, Dambadandi, do solemnly swear or affirm, do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. Now bear true faith to the allegiance of the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Without anti-mental relaxation, no purpose or... 
pledging my life, my fortune, and my sacred honor. Pledging my fortune and sacred honor. So help me God. So help me God. If you'd like additional information on the Oath Keepers, I've got some handouts here. Uh, and please visit the, red, the website at uh, oathkeepers.org. We could really use a hand for some local Rhode Islanders uh, stepping up to the plate and joining there. Uh, thank you, and God bless. We've got uh, Dan Badandi here that would like to uh, share a minute with us. He's from uh, Truth Radio, WALE. He came down here from uh, Providence to help us out today. How you doing, everybody? It's a great day for liberty. And um, I just want to introduce three bills, um, three acts here that are attacking our Constitution that many of you may not be aware of. One is called the MIAC Report. It's the Modern Militia Movement. Okay, I'll explain these in a minute. Two, it's from the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. It's called Endgame, Official Detention and Removal Strategic Plan. And three, Project Miguel by the FBI. Now, all three of these bills say everybody here if you own the Gaddison flag, if you're a Ron Paul supporter, you believe in the biblical prophecy, any of this sort, you are a domestic terrorist. According to the United States government, we are here all terrorists. And now, this, uh, just want to make this aware to everybody that our liberty is being attacked by the day. We got Schumer and Graham, we got um, Barry Satoro, our uh, gracious uh, tyrant president, by the day trying to liquidate our constitutional rights and um, for us patriots to be out here today I want to take my hats off to all you guys and uh, keep up the good fight and remember do not no matter what relinquish your constitutional rights God bless you will now end um, Pastor Paul with a closing prayer also called a benediction Pastor Paul take us home Well, many of us took that Oath Keeper's Oath, and if you'll recall, the last word in it is God. So we do not take this oath lightly. In the Declaration of Independence, our founding fathers wrote, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator, The President of the United States forgets or chooses not to say those words endowed by their Creator. That is a day of mourning and a day of prayer and a day of fasting for our nation. And Mr. President, with respect, you may forget those words, but we the people never will forget. Amen. That we are endowed by our Creator with certain inalienable rights, pardon me, unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And we do hereby today acknowledge that you, Almighty God, are the source of all our freedoms. We thank you for them, Lord. We ask for your protection upon us. We ask you to bless our nation, to bless the elections that are coming up on November 2nd. May the American people awaken and realize the source of the prosperity and the peace and the freedom that we know, that it comes from our Creator, God Almighty. Amen. 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 This is a great day for freedom. Take the feeling that you have of inspiration and share it with your friends and family when you get home. And thank you again for coming out today. Okay, hi, my name is Tom Moore. Um, and uh, along with your host, what's your name again, sir? It's Dan Badandi, Truth Radio. Dan, we just concluded a wonderful uh, ceremony called the Walk for Liberty for WeThePeople.org and for Oath Keepers. I know Dan got a lot of footage for that. Um, in addition to belonging to about 10 different freedom groups, I myself host a podcast called The Midnight Ride, www.themidnightridecast.org. And uh, last year we won an award at the New England History Festival for the best new contribution to New England history. We talk about the Constitution in every single broadcast. We talk about the patriotic history 
in every single broadcast. We talk about America's religious underpinnings in every single broadcast. Uh, we hope you'll all join us. We've had some really great famous constitutional scholars like Dr. Edwin Vieira on. We've had a lot of great authors. We've done a lot of fun trips, like we went up to Salem and we did a little bit of ghost busting. We went to a haunted hotel. We, we uh, explore all the great literature of New England. And uh, we hope to come back down here to Rhode Island and definitely do Gatsby Day, which is, I think, is it in May? Yep. The burning of the USS Revenue ship Gatsby, which I believe happened before the Boston Tea Party. Most people don't know that. And uh, yeah. This is a really great day for Liberty, and I hope a lot of you will be able to uh, join us on the 12th of December. That's, remember, all 12s, 12, 12, 12, 12. That's Sunday, December 12th at Faneuil Hall in Boston. We're going to have a lot of great speakers for Tea Party 2010. We're going to have Governor Gary Johnson of New Mexico. We're going to have Stuart Rhodes, the founder of Oath Keepers. We're going to have uh, Pastor Garrett Lear, who's also called the Patriot Pastor. And we're also going to have uh, Sheriff Mack. That's just who's confirmed right now. We may have Ron and Rand Paul. Hopefully he will be Senator-elect Rand Paul. Rand is a friend of ours. He's done two events with us, with me, at Faneuil Hall. And wow, would I love to have him back there. I give you, I'm going to close with a joke here. When, I, when he first spoke at the first, very first founding of the Tea Parties in 2007, the modern Tea Parties, he gave a great speech at Faneuil Hall. <coughs> and I said, Rand. After he got off, I came to the podium, I said, Rand, I said, Dr. Paul, if you ever get tired of being, you know, a very lucrative, well-paid eye surgeon, I think you'd do well in helping to clean up the slimy world of politics. And that's exactly what he's doing. <laughs> awesome. Anyway, right, Dan. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Yep, Good God luck with the show. You. Thanks.